I left school when I was 13 and my father put me straight in the vineyard. Coming from an Italian background, you weren't asked what do you want to do when you grow up or when you leave school. Uh, the idea was you automatically done as you're told. I was brought into the winery when I was about 15, 16 and I've been here ever since. This property where we are now at uh, Calabria Family Wines, we have a, the main canal that runs at the back of our winery and I remember my mother walking up and down to fetch water and bring it back to boil for cooking and also for washing and we didn't know any better. We didn't even have proper clothes and you were sort of very uh, embarrassed sometimes uh, and I think that made you strive to achieve. No matter what hurdles were put in front of you, or no matter how big the challenges were, you tended to not give up. When my father first made some wine, what happened was um, other migrants from Europe realised that he was making wine and would say, look, can you make me some wine as well? And uh, my father would make some wine for him. We'd fill up all the barrels of wine here in Griffith once we get the orders and we'd push them onto a truck, no forklifts, just two sticks and push them up in the truck and you'd take them to the railway station, you'd book a carriage and the carriage, you'd fill the carriage up with your wine and then my father would get on the train, go to Sydney, hire a truck and in the early days and a driver and we'd go and deliver these barrels to each house. Our number one focus for our customers is to over deliver quality. That's our number one priority is if we can deliver a wine and it over delivers for the customer and they open that wine and they say, wow, I only paid so much for that wine but it's worth double the price. That's our ultimate goal. So whether we're buying fruit off a grower, it's the same for them. We want to make sure they're giving us the best fruit they can possibly give us out of that vineyard and we want to give pass that fruit that we make into wine onto our customers to make sure it's over delivered every time. It's not about each individual department, it's about we're still one together. Everyone's role is important, so it doesn't matter if you sweep the floors and we've got a winemaker that's winning winemaker of the year, everyone's role is still important here and you're not, you're not taken for granted no matter what you do here. So, and, and Bill shows that spirit by being at the front and pruning and sweeping and painting the floors and customers walk in and say, you've got a nice gardener out there and the girl will look out the window and say, who's actually out there? Oh, that's Bill, he's the owner. And, and they're the little things that we'll do different and makes this place fun to work out because no one's lower or higher than anyone else. Everyone's on this equal, everyone, it's an equal playing field. Get your hands dirty and get the work done. That's the motto of the place. We're proud of being um, rural Australians and what we produce. And it's great. I mean, people sent us photos from finding our wine in regional Russia, um, I've travelled and uh, our wines, found our wines in Oklahoma. It's, you know, it's so, it's such an amazing feeling knowing that the wine really does sort of stretch the globe and um, different people from different parts of the world get to get to taste our wines. Yeah, it's a part of the story of the bottle where, where does it end up? Um, what even makes it more amazing is we get to see the wines being bottled and packed into containers and sent across the world. but. Also for the farmers and our growers around, uh, around Griffith and around the Barossa Valley is knowing that their fruit, which has been grown on their land, on their property, and, and for some, for generations, uh, that fruit is turned into wine and that wine is then bottled and sold uh, all around the world. You know, it, it's, such a, it's such an amazing story. 